So we're working with this uh, young man named Craig, and he's motivated to bring new policies into his insurance agency. And so uh, he was really excited after the training, and he was motivated to set really high goals. And so he says, you know, next week I am going to do a hundred calls. And we had a conversation. I said, Craig, let me ask you this. Why don't we kind of back off on that? Can I ask for your commitment? to do just 10 calls and can you just uh, do those 10 calls on Tuesday so Craig said yeah sure I can do 10 but I, I want to do a whole lot more I said let's just just focus on Tuesday and doing 10 calls so on Wednesday we had a huddle with a, a team and so I asked Craig to share how things went with his, his 10 calls that he had committed to doing and he was uh, sharing with the group how he wasn't able to actually get 10 calls done. But what happened was he began making the calls and the first three calls led to quotes and in fact some sales. So he wasn't able to get the whole 10 in, but it did lead to success. So often, you know, we want to kind of help people grow and, and think bigger. Uh, as a coach, sometimes you want to actually just get them started and think small. You know, people know what to do. We just need to help them get into action. You've probably heard this one before. Knowledge without action means nothing, right? So as a coach, are you trying to motivate them to get started on something? Well, think in terms of one. What's one client interaction that they could do maybe differently tomorrow? What's one phone call that could, they could make? Help them commit to that one. They're motivated to get it done. It's easy. And once we get them started, those ones turns in, turn into twos, twos turn into threes, little turns into big. Think small and you'll get big.